Hello, 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 Tam fam. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tamara. Today I'm going to be making some glam candle holders and I'm going to be making two different kinds. I'm making kind of a tall candle holder set slash candlestick set. I'm going to be starting my first project with some of these wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. It's the nice thick one and I'm using two of them to make the pair. So to fill the hole, I'm going to start with some wood filler and I'm going to put it inside, seal up that little hole and then I'm going to sand it down. Then I'm going to, I want to make a silver set. So I'm going to spray paint with a metallic silver paint. So that's all I'm going to be doing for the first part of this project. So you see there, I'm just taking my finger and just a little bit of that wood filler and just trying to sink it as far into the hole as I possibly can get it so that I will have a smooth surface. That dry, and guys, it really didn't take that long for this to dry. It dried pretty quickly and the sanding took me very little time. It took maybe 30 seconds, if that much. The next part of my project, I'm going to be using, um, well, if you follow my channel, you know that I really don't throw out a lot of things because I always think that there's something I can do with it. So for this part of the project, I had a shoe, shoe rack that had these metals and it fell apart and so these metals are going to be the um the candlestick portion right so that's going to give me the height so i'm just going to spray paint all of this silver i only spray painted the top of the wood round and for the sides i didn't spray paint that either i just decided to use this Christmas ribbon from the Dollar Tree and wrap the sides and guys I love using this it comes in all different colors and you have seen me use this before if you are not new to my channel so once I have covered the sides then I'm going to take the metal pieces and attach them to the wood and I'm just using hot glue so you're going to see that I'm going to press hard so that I can really secure it. The next part of my project, I'm going to be using an item that I would normally throw out. Now this is Cody's candy wrapper. It's a cylinder and it's clear and I basically just have to take the sticky portion off and I was fighting with it for a while and then I just decided to use some Goo Gone and that actually cleaned it up very nicely. So I'm going to use that as the base where I'm going to fit my candle so my, my candle can actually sit in. So I originally wanted it to be about four inches for each piece. So I cut it into two. Now one of them, as you can see, has a base. So it's, it's fully covered. The other piece has a hole in it. So I so I was going to use my one inch round punch to make the base. However, I just happened to find a piece that was perfect, so I didn't need to do that. So once I started to add some more of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree, at the bottom, the plastic is a little bit thicker, I suppose, but at the top, 
it was so thin so the hot glue melted it so then I had to cut that piece so I decided to use my double-sided tape and double-sided tape actually worked very well with this ribbon so guys remember this ribbon is from the Dollar Tree it comes in silver red green blue and gold are the colors that I've seen it in and I absolutely love it so once I've done that I'm now going to be hot gluing the that piece to metal bars handle holder once I finished hot gluing I was finished with this project and this is how it came out I absolutely love them they look very high-end so for my next DIY this is a stemless wine glass from the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love these and in this case I had a crystal knob on hand so after I've hot glued that, then I'm going to take that floral bling wrap and just add it to the top around the knob just to kind of give it an extra touch of glam. So here I'm just cleaning up some hot glue from around the rim. So I made a few different types of these with different style and I'm going to show you those all at the end but this one is the one where I'm using some bling wrap a single strand bling wrap to go around the top and then I'm just going to take it one around the middle So for this next stemless wine glass, I'm using something that I've already DIY'd with that single strand bling wrap. And that one had about maybe eight rows of bling around it. So I'm just reusing something that I previously DIY'd. And for that one, I am going to use another one of those crystal knobs. So after adding the crystal knob, I'm going to take some floral bling wrap and wrap it around the top. And that's it for that DIY. And mind you, it didn't really need it. It's not a necessity. So anything you have that is crystally, or it could even be a large pearl, you can use anything that you want to embellish your candle holder. Well, your wine glass turned candle holder. <laughs> So I decided that once I completed this part, I wanted to display it on one of those round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. So I decided then to add a little extra bling and glam to the round mirror. So I'm just going through my stash and getting some crystals and I'm just going to be hot gluing that around the rim of the Dollar Tree mirror. So be sure to check out their channels as well as the playlist in the description box below when you are finished watching my video. This is a part of the Chic for Cheap challenge and it is hosted by Christy Creates and Crafting with Cass. And if you're not familiar with their channels, those channels are two DIY channels and these ladies are absolutely awesome. So 
So this DIY is so easy and then it just gives a glamorous touch. You can't even, it's a shame even calling this a DIY. I mean, absolutely. So simple. You don't even have to use that glass knob. Like you're going to see, I literally took one of those covers from one of the tops from those Bath and Body um, lotions and just put it on there and still <laughs> wow glam factor you really don't need much so for this last one I'm just showing you how can you can use something simple if you don't have crystal knobs everybody has bath and body lotion and I don't throw out those knobs the tops <laughs> because I always imagine that there's something I can use them for and this was perfect so I'm using another one of these Dollar Tree stemless wine glasses and this already had bling wrap around it from a previous DIY so you don't even have to use bling wrap once you put anything on the top or technically the bottom of that stemless wine glass it elevates it already to something that looks glamorous guys here is what my final Final projects looked like and I absolutely love it the candlestick looks so glamorous and high-end so when you really think about it I really only paid two dollars for all of these projects right because everything I had at home or it was something that was trash turned to treasure or something that I already DIY that I revamped so I really only purchased the two wood rounds from the DT so that's two dollars so everything here I made to decorate my home with two dollars and everything else I had inside my home let me know in the comments what you think of these projects I absolutely love them and I am going to be using them to style my home for a particular project that I'm working on but I really love how they turned out how simple and beautiful and glamorous these DIYs are and they're so versatile like you can dress them up you can dress them down and play around with the types of things that you use to embellish them and I just absolutely love this now obviously you can't use a real candle because it needs oxygen so these are just some um, flameless candles that I have lying around the house and I just love how glamorous these are so guys it's all about being economical it's all about being on a budget and it's all about making your home look beautiful and using your creativity and I just want to say how much I appreciate your support and I apologize for those who've left me comments on my last two videos I have not gotten the time to respond to you but I see them and I read them and I will be getting to you soon just again trying to find that balance <laughs> of finding the time to do everything so please be patient and I appreciate you thank you so much tomorrow's video I will be co-hosting a collaboration with Shule of my style my colors and mom from mom that's life homemade thank you for watching i hope that you are safe happy healthy and blessed